I swear every TV show is trying to get women to settle for awful men. This is Breaking Bad Edition Jesse Pinkman. Despite men calling us gold diggers all the time, in reality, oh, we date so many hobo schedules. Jesse is like king baby or prince baby hobo schedule. He doesn't have a real job. Everything she asks for, he can't provide. He's like, can I just like pick up? Blah, blah, blah. She finally agreed. This woman is very boundary. She's so beautiful. She's in recovery. She's getting her life together. And then this dude enters her life and literally ruins it. She also told him no smoking. And like she had a bunch of rules, right? Because she was a self-respecting woman, despite a pretty traumatizing past, she was doing well. So before I continue, if you get nothing else out of this video, Jane is the perfect example of why you should not just date. Don't date just for fun. Don't date because you're lonely. Like, don't just date. If you're a woman, you have so much to lose. I'm not saying don't go on dates, but do not get in a relationship with just any man because they will ruin your life. Especially a hobo sexual. Not only does she set a lot of boundaries for Jess that he systematically breaks down, she also was looking out for his best interests. When, you know, King Baby Daddy shows up, she's like, who are you? Are you Jesse Jackson's dad? Like, this... <laughs> Jesse has been lying to this woman. Everything is lies. All he does is lies, just like King Baby. The little Prince Baby. He's a liar, too. And shout out to this creator. Go follow her if you're not. She did a whole video that blew my mind today about how much and how often men lie. They lie about everything. You have to figure out ways around their lies. Despite telling him not to smoke inside, she, she can smell the, you know, and she's like, dude, my dad's, I mean, her dad owns the building. She is managing this place for her dad. So this man is not only like threatening her security and her life, also her relationship with her father. And he's all like, I don't do it often. Uh. And then he's like, by the way, my name's not Jesse Jackson. She's like, I know. Like she knows all this stuff because women have to be CIA agents to protect ourselves. Now, Jesse knows that he's bad for her. But does he care? He spies on her. He eavesdrops. You know, men just want what they want. Why shouldn't he have her? Despite them both knowing he's not good enough for her. The man sleeps on the floor and doesn't have furniture. He gets the girl. Did Judd Apatow write this? And what does he immediately do? Hey, let's smoke up. Can we do it inside since I've already lost my deposit? And then she's like, dude, I'm in like an A. And uh, is a stepping stone. So back on. So then she buys him a bed like his mommy. And then tries to get him to go to Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. He makes fun of her and then he's like, can we just go to the like, putt putt? All this is before this loser gets her addicted to heroin. And she dies. Oh man, I've run out of time. Comment for part two because I got more to say.